What's up YouTube? Coinflip back and we have another hunt for you. Today's going to be nickels. We haven't done a nickel hunt in a while. And went to the bank. They were out of boxes and placed my order in for some other stuff as well. But they did have these so I went ahead and picked up $200 worth here. And they were in the trays so they went ahead and put them in a uh, bank bag for me. And then of course I took them and brought them home in this container. So we'll get this pushed back and open up a couple rolls with you and then bring you in on the first find. All right, we're gonna get started on this uh, first roll here. I didn't see any enders, uh, put them in a stack here, but didn't see anything obvious jumping out at me as we stacked them up here. But we're gonna be looking for anything from 59 and beyond today. And I know last time we did uh, 64, but uh, there's an interesting one to start. Looks like a toned 2016. But we'll get these laid out and see if anything jumps out at us. So we're going to be looking for those uh, 59 and older. We'll uh, bring you in on those. Also be looking for those 2009 and any other low mintages. We will double check any errors and varieties under the scope. Since we have that, we did not have that on the first video for you guys. So we had quite a few, if you remember in that uh, upper right corner there that we were uh, pulling aside and checking. But we will get started here and pull you in. If we find anything interesting, on. we'll be back in just a few. All right, we're on roll number four. We have our first find, 1947. It looks like it's a Denver. We'll put that one on the board as a find. Roll number five. And last one in the roll looks like it's an oldie. So let's flip it over here. 1959. Denver. Another one for the board. Roll number six. And just started pushing this back. And I got one towards the back here. Like a 1958 Denver. All right, roll number seven. Just got a push back. You can see this kind of dirty find here. Jumped out at me, obviously. He looks like a 48 Denver on that one. Another one for the board. All right, roll number eight. Got another one. See if I can find it again. Popped out at me here earlier. I think it was in the 40s. Here we go. 46. Philly. And I think this is the year you can check for any nickel. I have to double check. And nope. But a 46 on the board. Seem to get one a roll. We'll keep moving. Still on roll number eight, and we got another one, second one for this roll. 57. Denver. We're on roll number 12, and we did find 2009. Denver. Not in the best of shape, but less than 50 million. I think it's 46.8. 46.8 million. We'll put that on the board. I know the Philly is a little bit less in the 30s. But uh, yeah, cool find nonetheless. Roll 12. All right, roll 13. We got another one in the 40s. 1947 Philly. Roll 14 is going to give us a nice looking 50s. 1954. That's a pretty nice one. Is that an S? 54 S? It is. Fifty-four S. Fifty-four 
Pretty nice coin overall. I like that one. We're going to keep moving. I'll look up the mintage numbers on that one. That's probably a pretty good one, if I recall. Post it in the uh, top here for you. We'll finish out roll 14 here. Roll 18. Going to give us our next find. This one is our oldest, a 1941. Philly. Pretty beat up, but definitely our oldest find so far on the board. We'll keep moving. All right, we're on roll 23. Last couple rolls slowed down a little bit, but I did peek at this one here. It was a little bit darker in the roll. Check that out. See that mint mark above? That's the tall tail sign of a silver war nickel. 1943. Let's check the uh, date. This one's dirty, so you need to put it under the scope. No 43 over 2 on this one. But still, cool to find these out in the wild. 43, you'll put it on the board. All right, roll 30, and we have another one here. This one looks like a 51. No mint mark, so that's a Philly. It's not the 51 Denver, unfortunately. Or 50 Denver, excuse me. But 51 Philly. We'll keep moving down the line. Still on roll 30, just finishing up the roll here. And just flip this guy over. This is a 52. And it's a Denver. I think that's a little bit lower mintage as well. Just like some of those other 50s. But we'll keep moving on to roll 31. Roll 31. And just flipped one over. Another 2009 Denver. I thought we'd get another one. I wouldn't be surprised if we see another one or two of those just based off all the uh, newer nickels we're seeing in this. So cool to find some lower mintage nickels. We'll keep moving. All right, we're on roll 37. Just flip this one over. And this is going to be the oldest one now. 1940. Looks like a Philly. It is a 40, and that will be the oldest find so far. We will keep going. All right, we're on roll 41. We actually have a twofer right here. 57, pulled that one up, and then right behind it we have a 49. 57. Uh, looks like a Denver here, yep. And then this one's a 49. Also a Denver. So a couple more for the board here. And 57. We'll keep going through the rolls here. Almost halfway done. Same roll. Got to the end. Looks like a 58. That's a pretty nice one overall. Looks like a Denver, 58 Denver. Pretty nice one. All right, we're on roll 46. Got this one opened up. There's two, I mean, and almost like the enders here. So I didn't look at the enders that well. Uh, it's hard to tell here. Let's see if I can pull this guy out without messing this all up. No. Just a 78. Nickels can be funny. You never know what you're going to have here. This could be a 64. This is the one that definitely looks suspicious. 
43, Philly. And we're checking that 43 over 2. And this one doesn't appear to have it. Normally, I'm sorry about that. Here we go. Normally you'd see it coming right off the bottom there. And then shoot back up into the uh, 3 itself. But don't see it on this one. But that is awesome to find a second war nickel. Just a little bit different tone on some of those war nickels. It's pretty hard to tell, in my opinion, just because there's so many dirty nickels all the time. But anyway, second war nickel. Pretty cool. We're at the halfway point, roll 50. Just got another fine here, 1940. Philly. That's our second 40 for the hunt. Same roll, 50. Couple more down the line. And looks like a 54. Bunch of junk on it. And it looks like we got a Denver. 54 Denver. Roll 51. Just got it peeled back. Got an oddball down here. And it's foreign. Nineteen ninety nine. Not sure what that is. Might have to do some checking on that. Five cent euro. Haven't found one of those before. That's pretty cool. Put that on the board as a find. Keep going on fifty one. Still on fifty one. Got a forty eight. Looks like a 48 Denver. Another one for the list. Roll 54. Another one in the 40s. Looks like a 46. Philly for the board. Our third 46. Roll 59. And we have another in the 40s. This one's a 46. No mint mark. It's going to be a Philly in our fourth 46. We're on roll 60 and peeled this one back and you can see it right here in the middle. This has that war nickel look but like I showed you earlier I pulled out a 2020 that looked like that so figured we pull it out on camera again. Look at that. Pretty worn. S mint mark, what year we got? 43, it looks like. Yep, 43. S. Pretty cool. That's our third 43. Three war nickels. Can't be mad at that. All right, roll 62. And pushing these guys back. There was a thin one back here. Bam. First Buffalo. And can't really see a date there. Like maybe a 20. Is there a mint mark? I don't see it. It's kind of damaged there, but 1920 Buffalo. That's our first Buffalo in these videos or coin roll hunt. So that's pretty cool. Definitely one for the board there. And our oldest nickel. Roll 68, just popped them out here. And then this one jumped out at the back. Looks like it's a 55. Denver. And I actually got one of those a couple rolls back. It didn't bring in on it. 
but uh, 55 down. We got a couple of those now. Starting to get down at the end. Board is looking pretty good though. Same roll, just flipped over another in this roll 68 here. And this one is a 48 Philly. 48 Philly. I think we have a couple of those already as well. We'll keep moving. Next roll, roll 69. Just flipped over our oldest Jefferson. That's a 38 Philly with some stuff on the back. 38. That's pretty cool. That's going to go right up here with that buffalo. Oldest one in the Jeffersons. Roll 72. Another find. 49. Philly. Roll 79. Got another one in the 40s. 47. Maybe? Denver. 47 Denver. Roll 83. Next find is a 41. 41 Philly. Roll 84. Getting back to the end of the roll. Did not see this one till flipped the other one out of the way. See if we got a date. That one's also a 20. How cool is that? Is there a mint mark on this one? No mint mark. So another 20 Philly. Buffalo. Roll 85. Another 40s. 49. Philly. Roll 88 is going to give us our third Buffalo. How about that? No mint mark. But that looks like a 1917. 1917 is a pretty good year. I don't remember on the Philly. Obviously it's got a bunch of junk or been painted or some something in the past. Maybe found underground at one point. 1917, our oldest one yet. We're running out of room. Just a few more down. There was another one in there. And I saw this green one, but I always they're always like newer like 90s. What do we got there? Is that a 29? Twenty-nine. And I don't think there's a mint mark on that one either. Twenty-nine, another buffalo. Looking pretty good. Roll ninety. Just popped him out. Looks like another forty. Another forty Philly. Roll 93, getting down to the end. We got one here kind of hanging out. Looks kind of suspect to me. Maybe this one here too. But this is the one that's a little bit off color. It's another war nickel, Philly. What year do we have? 44 Philly War Nickel. Another one for the board. Getting down to the wire here. Nineteen thirty nine Philly. 
kind of running out of room here. No spots for the 39, so we'll squish it up in there. We'll bring you back on the next one or the recap. Still, same roll. Another one in there. 54 S. How about that? We'll definitely take those S's. All right, that's the recap. This was, uh, this was a long one, but a good one. We're going to start at the bottom with the 50s, and then do the 40s, and then kind of the uh, unique finds for us. There was a lot of low mintage nickels in there, and normally, you know, we can get one box, but every once in a while we'll get a couple as coin roll hunters because we don't know if there's going to be enough content for you, and this one just turned out to be pretty epic in my mind. So we'll start down here. Um, actually, on this side, we had the two... 2009 D's, a couple 59's, uh, 7 58's, 5 57, 4 56's, 2 55's, 3 54's, a 53, 2 52's, 251's, unfortunately no 50's, but that's to be expected. Had the 4 49's, 4 48's, 3 47's, I think we have 7, 7 46's, no 45 war nickel, but we did get four war nickels, which is pretty incredible. Um, the 144 and 343s, one of which is an S, so that's pretty cool. No 42 nickels, but we did get three 41s, three 40s. And then we had a 39 Philly, a 38 Philly, a 29 Philly Buffalo. A little bit of corrosion on this guy, but still a buffalo. Always awesome to find those. We had the two Philly 1920s. They're kind of like half dates. And then the 17, which has, uh, I don't know if it's pain or been underground, but 17 Philly buffalo. And then we had the one foreign five cent euro but overall awesome hunt hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know in the comments below as always and if you haven't already please subscribe that always helps us out as well and we will catch you on the next one coin flip out